Welcome to the Technology Information Integration Management Network. Today we are going to cover part one within the Critical Path series. This comprehensive presentation will cover the following components. Related definitions, introduction to precedence diagram method concepts, precedence diagram method value placement, and critical path assessment. Let's get started. One may ask, what is the importance of critical path? Critical path methodology provides the project team visualization and a focus on dependencies and constraints that have the most direct influence on the project timeline. In addition, it provides focus on identifying risks and risk mitigation strategies. Let's first start by defining the concepts of Slack and critical path. Slack can be viewed as the latest an activity can start without having an impact. The critical path constitutes a path within the project timeline with zero float and most at risk. Here are some fundamental concepts. A project may have one or multiple critical paths. Projects with more than one critical path are often some of the most challenging projects to manage. There are instances in which there may be a change within critical paths. Instances where this occurs most often indicates an issue has emerged. For better understanding of mitigation strategies, I urge you to review this channel's presentation regarding risk management. In addition, part three of this critical path series will involve schedule compression techniques. Please also note, when one encounters negative float, it means that the project is running behind schedule. The next concept I would like to go over is the network diagram. This is one of the most essential tools in performing a critical path assessment. Focus will be on the precedence diagram method. The essential terms are early start, the earliest date an activity can start. Duration, the planned duration for an activity. Early finish, the earliest date an activity can finish. Late start, the latest date an activity can start without impacting the critical path. Late finish, the latest date an activity could finish without impacting the critical path. Slack, the latest an activity can complete without impacting the critical path. I will provide follow-up parts to this presentation that present the equations relevant to calculating these components. Here are some other essential terms. Divergence, an activity with multiple outputs. Convergence, an activity with multiple inputs. Here is an overall view on where these fields are placed within a precedence diagram. Here is a view with value representation. Now that we have gone over all the initial definitions and components of the network diagram, let's now identify the methodology in assessing the critical path. For the purpose of this approach, let's focus on the values of activity name and duration. This slide displays the duration and activity name, as well as the areas of divergence and convergence. First, identify all the potential paths. Second, calculate the sum of the durations in each path. The critical path will be the path identified with the greatest sum. In this instance, it is ADFG. This concludes part one of the Critical Path series. If you find this content helpful, please give it a like. Thank you for watching, and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button.